Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for November the 4th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, sources suggested that the first charges stemming from an antitrust probe by US regulators into alleged price collusion in the generic drug industry could be filed by the end of the year. The people indicated that the US Department of Justice investigation now involves more than a dozen companies and about two dozen drugs. Meanwhile, a grand jury probe is also looking into whether some executives may have conspired to raise prices. In 2014, members of Congress wrote to multiple pharmaceutical companies, including Activis, Mylan and Teva, seeking information about the escalating prices they have been charging for generic drugs. In other news, third quarter sales of Regeneron Pharmaceuticals' ILEA in the US rose 16% to $854 million, meeting analyst estimates. However, growth for the product has been slowing, with the latest quarter below increases of 27% in the second quarter and 44% in the first quarter. In addition, Merck KGAA will invest €250 million in two pharmaceutical manufacturing plants in China, including one dedicated to producing medicines on the country's essential drugs list. The second plant will focus on the production of glucophage, euthyrox and concor for the treatment of diabetes, thyroid disorders and cardiovascular diseases. And finally, Nestle Health Science will make an equity investment of $145 million in food allergy specialist A-Immune Therapeutics. The company's plan to collaborate on the development and commercialisation of new treatments for food allergies. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 